Alright, here we go. Full Spectrum RC here, guys, with Smoking Hot RC. I got a really special uh, video for you today. Uh, this has been kind of a long time coming. It's something I've been working towards and kind of got dropped in my lap by my friend here. Uh, a 4 axis 3040 CNC machine. Uh, what that really means is 3040 is the size differentiation. Uh, it means 300 by 400 millimeters. That's our plate size by, in this case, 80 millimeters high. Uh, not huge, but it's a great system to start on. We did get this from China, so uh, we'll see what kind of quality and workmanship we've gotten out of this. It is crated nice. We've got three boxes here that were delivered in uh, about a week from China. Uh, we did pay quite a bit for the shipping, uh, but I think in the end it was will be worth it. It was about $1,800 Canadian total for the whole system. The fourth axis is a kicker, but we figured if you're going to go for it, go for it. So we got everything. So we're going to start cracking these open and uh, pulling it apart and seeing what we got here. Precious Milwaukee 12 volt fuel. I actually really like this drill. It's good to, uh, even for my RC stuff, you can have it up set on the lower setting where it'll only hand tighten. I don't know if you guys have seen it in any of the videos so far, but I haven't really spoken to it. I think this is a good time since I'm doing really nothing. Uh, that one's undone. It is brushless, you know, 12 volt, it's nice and handy. I like it. Got it at work. Ah, here we go. Man. Let's be careful with that. I can smell the child labor. Ah, yeah. There we go. Cambodian. Okay, so what we have here is the actual plate uh, the table. Some brackets, not sure what I'm really looking at yet. But we're just gonna start pulling things out one thing at a time here. This is, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, this seems to be most of our axes. <laughs> okay, so we'll be nice and ginger here. There we go. Uh, put it down on this box. Put it down on the box for now, yeah. We'll get rid of the crate. So we'll take a look at it. Oh, that's nice and heavy. I like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, if you guys can see here, this seems to be the, let's say, x-axis. Our y-axis is going to be on the arms, uh, as well as the z-axis, I guess. So we did get the higher-end version of the uh, linear bearings. They're much smoother, ends up being a more accurate machine, quieter machine, longer lasting machine, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is going to end up being better for us in the end. Okay, so we'll move this over for now. So we can just drop it right into the table now. Uh, for now. Okay. So, moving on to the next crate. Let's see what we got here. Good, good day. Bam. I spent my day today building a little desk workstation for this actually. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer coming from China, so I took my sweet time. But it said it was delivering today, so I had to get that table ready. And I did. We'll show you where it's all going in a minute. And we'll actually, later on when we plug her all in anyways, let's we'll see. Okay, pull that off. Nice and easy. Oh my god, I'm still wearing my tool belt. <laughs> okay. Oh. Falling 
on me. Nice and easy here. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I actually did a pretty good job wrapping it. Not bad. So, if you look here, that's all our wiring and water tubes. And these are actually the plugs all for the uh, CNC controller. This is actually, okay, cut the rope, pull it up, nice and easy. Some screws and a clip, screws and stuff. Oh my god, we're gonna have to figure that out after. Just get it all here. Get the box out of the way. Okay. So actually, we'll stand it up so you can see. Ooh, it's so heavy. Oh no! It's all going to be in the video anyways, so okay. they'll see. We'll email them. We'll get a piece. See, this is always something you should watch for. This is actually one of the reasons I like doing unboxing videos too. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't tell if you can see it in the video. So I'm going to bring the camera actually over. So, if you can see here. I guess it had a rough trip moving so fast. This piece got smashed. Uh, I'm hoping maybe it's not too big a deal. We can get a replacement or try to fix it ourselves. It'll be okay for a now, I guess. We'll figure something out. But video evidence of what happened there. So, if you take a quick look, that is the spindle. Uh, water cooled once again. These are the in out out valve, or, uh, valves for that. Uh, that's the stepper motor for the Z axis. And this would be the Y for going across back and forth. Okay, I'm going to plug that camera back in because it's about to die. battery sucks. Uh, we'll just uh, put the right back in the box for now. There we go. Yep, put it right back in the box. Super lame. There was like really no way of it not happening in the way, the way that it's got to be put. Really like, well, we think if they had experience shipping these things, it would have been okay. Oh, well. This is behemoth of a box here too. Yeah, now we got the last bit. I kind of know what's in here, I guess it's the power source and the uh, fourth axis. Bust out the knife. Oh, more boxes. Well, you should have packed that with the other stuff. <laughs> Maybe the plastic would have been safe. Uh, okay, oh, here we go. Instruction manual. Probably excellent Chinglish. Uh, I always love to see how they try to explain things to us in terrible English. 
There's a disc in there too, not sure what exactly that is. Hopefully it's software, it'll make it easier. Uh, okay. Oh yes, this is going to be great. Okay, thank you very much for your Choose the Donga T-Series of Engraving Machines. TS-Series of Engraving Machines, which high quality and multifunction are produced by Dongda. Dongda. It is widely used in artware, embossing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyways, whole thing on things. Talk about that in another video right here. Oh, for sure, yeah. <coughs> okay. Oh. Ah, all the nice wires. that and other things for sure. <laughs> okay. Lots and lots of foam. Okay, move that out of the way please. So you see here we got the control unit. This turns the power on. You can oh what the heck is that white stuff? I hope that's not some, yeah, some some China. China. Yeah, some China. Oh geez. They're trying to get us through the engraver machines. This is emergency stop. Uh and this controls the speed of the spindle, actually, so your RPMs. You don't have an exact amount, but it's it's faster or slower. Or. Okay, this is the spindle, or I'm not even sure what this would be called, but it's for the lathe attachment. So you can attach uh, round objects and carve in the fourth axis. And as you can see here, this is the actual lathe attachment. These are uh, NEMA stepper motors, very common. Very nice chuck here. I hope it comes with the tools to work with it. Uh, There's this box right here too. What goes in here? See what's in here? Oh, there's the water pump actually. So what you do with this thing is you dunk it in water, in a bucket of water, and it'll actually circulate it up into the spindle. Uh, some kind of yep. Okay, what do we got there? The screws, maybe? Oh, these are the holders for... Okay, we better get this out of the way for the bus all this stuff. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to put it up here? Yeah, I'll just put it all on there for now. We'll test out that. That's... Oh, I'm super pumped! Yes! Bits? Oh, bits! We got bits, dude. We can cut. We can cut. I didn't think they were going to give us any bits. Okay. It didn't show any pictures. Oh, that's awesome. We can cut. We can fucking cut. We can do something. <laughs> yes! Nice. Oh, uh, I'm super pumped now. That's it. Oh, we can still run it. We'll just tape that. It'll go. That's just, uh, that's just that's a, a shroud. No. That's a shroud for all the wiring so that it runs nice and smooth. We'll put okay. some tape on it and we'll fix Figure it. Figure it out. We're, if we got bits, we're fucking... We're doing something tonight. <laughs> we're cutting something. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Awesome. Okay, so uh, back to uh, the unboxing. Uh, I'm super excited now. Can't even concentrate. What do we got here? Shing Pa. Shing Pa. Shing Pa. Shing Pa. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, kind of tape Teflon tape there? for screw hub screws, so it'll keep them from coming out. Uh, this is. The chuck holder. Where did that knife go? Oh, we got some bits. 
Yeah, I'm super excited too, dude. Oh. Yes. Oh. We got bits. <laughs> we can cut. Ah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this thing's really fighting me. Okay. So this looks like I'm going to say screws for the three jaw chuck. This is the tightener. That's the tool I was just talking about. These are extra jaws for it, for whatever you're doing, uh, for custom work. Okay, we'll pull those out. Put them over here. Oh, that's super awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, super excited. So, what I'm so excited about, I'll show you guys. They are, I'm not even sure what they are. High speed steel end mill 3.0 uh, processing iron cutting easy dispersion. Uh, what else? High speed steel 3.0, I guess that's both the same. Two and a two. So we can carve stuff. We can carve stuff. Awesome. High speed steel, not too high quality, but it'll do the job. Cut some wooden plastics for now. With that. Uh, let's see what's all in here. I think it's tools. Yeah. And actually, these things here, I thought we were going to have to order these two separate, but I guess not. This is a nice kit. This is actually pretty impressive. I'm really happy with that. Uh, everything except for the damage, which is. Disappointing, but it happens sometimes. Maybe that's why the delivery guy was having such a bad day. Maybe he dropped our package. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Failed to mention that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The heavy ass box. Yeah. <laughs> so, Great. we got a whole bunch of these. That's super awesome. I guess you don't really realize what these are, but they hold down our materials that we're going to work with. So, uh, Whatever we're working with, you put this piece down, you screw it down, and it, it all fits inside the slots on the uh, table. And you screw it down, and it works like a lever. So this bolt here holds it higher up, and when you screw this down, it tightens down and holds the material hard down on the ground or on the table. So we got a bunch of those, which is perfect. We got a bunch of Allen keys here. A uh, couple wrenches, I guess they give you everything to put it together. And uh, just get yourself started. So, good thing. that is it for now, just for the unboxing. Uh, we're going to try to get this thing together today. That's it. We're going to get working on it right now. I'm going to actually make another video of a stop motion. And actually, before we finish off here, I'll just show you again. The table I've built, I showed it in a previous video. I did this earlier today. The CNC machine is actually going to sit there in the bottom. The water cooler thing is going to sit underneath the table. The power bar and everything, the computer is going to sit up top. Uh, there's the screen, obviously. And the keyboard and everything is going to sit underneath there with all the extra tools and pieces and this and that. So, uh, Everything's all contained in this one little spot. So there we go, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. I doubt it, but I am. Here we go. <laughs>